Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain temporal summation and spatial summation. Uh, so first is, what is summation in general? Uh, we're referring to when the signals from presynaptic neurons add up to cause a postsynaptic neuron to reach threshold and achieve excitation. Um, so what we mean by that is when we have a uh, presynaptic neuron, so meaning a neuron that is sending a signal to another neuron, uh, when one or more is sending those signals, those signals will add up to the point that the postsynaptic neuron, the neuron that is receiving the signal, uh, is receiving enough of that neurotransmitter to finally reach threshold and therefore uh, generate its own action potential in its own cell. So there's two ways that that happens. There's temporal summation and spatial summation. Uh, so temporal summation, temporal meaning time, is referring to how quickly the presynaptic neurons are firing um, so that we have that summation occurring. So it could be only one presynaptic neuron, it can be multiple, but it just means that the presynaptic neurons are firing so quickly that each impulse is occurring before the previous ones have had a chance to dissipate. And that means that the effect builds and builds instead of having an impulse and then it comes all the way back to zero and an impulse and back to zero. Instead, it's happening so quickly that the impulses and, and the neurotransmitters are essentially building building and building and building until eventually the postsynaptic membrane depolarizes um, because the uh, rapid fire impulses that are coming from the presynaptic neurons summate. Uh, spatial summation is a little bit different. It's not about time in that case. It's about how many uh, presynaptic neurons, or it could just be a matter of how many terminals of a presynaptic neuron are firing simultaneously. So they're simultaneous or very close to it. And in that case, it's not a matter of a neuron firing really quickly together, close together. In this case, it's a bunch of neurons firing at the same time. Um, so in both cases, the effect is the same, that the neurotransmitter that is being sent to activate the postsynaptic neuron, it would be accumulating enough in the synaptic cleft to generate an action potential in the postsynaptic neuron. But the difference is, in temporal summation, it's a matter of time and how close together those action potentials are occurring. And in spatial summation, it's a matter of number and how many presynaptic neurons or just simply presynaptic terminals are firing all at once so that we have the end result of an adequate amount of uh, neurotransmitter accumulating so that the postsynaptic neuron can reach threshold. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Now, hope you have a great day.